and that squash. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never, ever heard of a butternut squash before in my life. I've no idea what it is. I've no idea what's inside it. I saw this and the missus says, it's a butternut squash. Oh, squeeze me. It's a butternut squash. Butter nut squash. Now, I'm certain there's no butter in this. For that matter, no nuts either. And no squash. <laughs> oh dear, what a weird looking kind of thing. Is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? What is it? But I thought today we would have a bit of fun and find out what's inside. Maybe I could make something. Who knows? Now, as you can see here, I've got my easy wood tools chuck. This chuck is pretty amazing. It's got this quick release mechanism in it. So you just put this in there and it comes out like that. Nice and easy. <laughs> Boom. So <laughs> this is gonna be funny. I'm just intrigued to see what's inside this thing. Wonder if we can keep that on there. Is. she's on there <laughs> oh this is just weird I've never even seen anything like this before so I'm kind of intrigued to see what's inside I hope you are too maybe we can also um, you know try and make something from it as well if we can so right let's get turning and for this exercise we're gonna be using me nice easy with tools Top. Oh, look at that, bright orange. Woo! So it's bright orange inside there. Look at that, it's like, like orange juice. Well, it is butternut squash. So that's what it looks like. That looks nice, doesn't it? Look at that. It's kind of like resin. I'm gonna carry on, see if we can get this all nice and smooth like this all the way around here. Get rid of the butternut squash casing. Right, so there it is, folks. So far, so good. I'm wondering whether or not what we can do is we can actually put this in the chuck. So that then what we can do is maybe hollow it out and we can try and make a little pot out of it if we can, leaving this as the lid. Let's try that. I told you before, and I'll tell you again, you get nothing but weird in this place. Right, so we put... <laughs> We put our tenon on the back there. It's actually quite solid actually, so I reckon it will hold. Let's get this in the chuck and then see if we can actually make something from this. This is looking pretty cool actually. <laughs> Load of pips in here, look. You can just see all the pips at the bottom there. Oh, it looks terrible down there. <laughs> Ooh, look at that in there. Oh. So, <laughs> oh man, what am I doing? What are you doing, Nick? So, I'm gonna have to get all this out of here. Um, try and scrape it out. Um, can. And then hopefully, hopefully we'll have a nice little pot there. Happy days! Happy days! <laughs> yes!
there you go. <laughs> Your very own butternut squash pot. I actually made it into a pot. I thought it was kind of funny to do. So this thing is actually pronounced butternut squash. And for those of you that want a bit of info on this, because <laughs> I did, here it comes. Butternut squash, sometimes known in Australia and New Zealand as a butternut pumpkin. It's a type of winter squash that grows on a vine. It has a sweet, nutty taste similar to that of a pumpkin. So there you go, folks. <laughs> Bit of fun today. Saw that and I thought, I've got to show you this. And then I thought, well, rather than show you, I just sort of turn it as well because we did the potato the other day. That <laughs> Everyone seemed to be quite intrigued about that one. So I thought, why not? Just a quick update while you're here, folks. This should be a short video, but Maker Central, if you don't know about this show that we have created, we created an event called Maker Central held here in the UK in Birmingham. We ran it in 2018 and in 2019. It was only meant to be for one off show, but everyone called for it because it was an amazing show for it to happen again. So we did it in 2019. Again, because of the overwhelming kind of support for the show, uh, decided to run it again. Uh, for 2020 but unfortunately as you know due to the virus we haven't been able to run the show this year so i just wanted to apologize to all of those people um wanted to see the show you know we really wanted to just make sure that you guys are safe uh but we've had tremendous support from uh most people <laughs> and uh it's been absolutely nuts so you guys are amazing um, we've obviously postponed the show now till May 2021, but this show is going to be epic, guys. It's going to be absolutely huge if you can make it for 21. May 2021. I think it's the first and second. Um, tickets are on sale now. Please grab a ticket. We're going to start really getting into advertising the show now for next year. Hopefully things, well, I'm pretty sure things will be all sorted by then anyway. Um, but obviously, if you've got tickets already for this, uh, for the show this year, that you can use those next year. Same for exhibitors. Again, thanks for all your support. Because without you guys kind of helping support us and, you know, hanging on to your tickets uh, for next year. And the same goes for exhibitors. We would have been in dire straits, pretty much. So we've had overwhelming support for that. So thank you if you're one of those uh, that are coming next year and just hanging on to your tickets and stands. And we're doing this just for the community, really. That was what it was put on for, to help you guys, to get everyone together, to meet people, watch demonstrations, listen to amazing makers from across the world. We've got people confirmed. And yes, Jimmy DeResta will be there. Bobby Duke will be there. Peter Brown will be there. Bob from I Like To Make Stuff will be there. Loads of people will still be coming for next May. Uh, check out the makers list. Anyone that's not coming, we will remove from the website, obviously, so that you can see the full list of people coming. So we've had, again, super support from everyone, and uh, we're gonna make this amazing show. Everything that you looked at on the to-do page is still happening so we've got the salvage sister coming easy wood tools will be there trend loads of demos still happening pretty much the same if not more is going to be going on at this show next year we're going to make this even bigger now so um i will put out a more of a better video for just maker central rather than to bore those of you that aren't is interested in maker central a bit later on i'll probably put that on the maker central um a Facebook page, not Facebook, YouTube channel. And I'll probably do a little video for you guys on here as well that are interested. But again, it's on, grab a ticket. Let's see you at this show next May. I wanna see you. Come on, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an epic show. It's gonna be so many things going on there. Let's do this. Maybe we could bring some butternut squashes and we could turn some. How about that? I got this sticker the other day as well. Happy days. I'll be putting that on my sticker wall. Cheers. Well, it was a bit of a weird project, if you could call it that. Just a bit of fun. Thank you for all your support. Um, thank you to all my Patreons for your support. You're amazing. Um, it's just been crazy. We're getting really close now to 700,000 subscribers. So thank you again so much for that. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the content. It is a bit weird and wacky, but you know, <laughs> that's what we do. I do like to mix things up. I like to make serious things and I like to make not so serious things, <laughs> basically. So watch out for some really cool, funky projects coming your way 
really soon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Please check out all the links below where I get my resin from, where I get my music, and if you use the links below, you'll be helping support the channel, which will be very much obliged. And if you didn't see my last video where I made a massive, huge mallet out of pencils, check it out, link below. See you soon.